Weather Authority Alert Day continues today and tomorrow due to the spread of the wildfire smoke that continues and also due to the threat for additional fires, despite the fact that we see a little bit of rain tonight. Most of the smoke is going to be near into the east of the Roanoke Bedford area between today and tomorrow. Drought monitor came out yesterday and as you can imagine, it's not showing any kind of encouragement. You see the severe drought has grown farther south toward areas like Smith Mountain Lake. It's also encompassing parts of the New River Valley and the Southern Blue Ridge and also notice that pretty much all of our area now is under a drought goes without saying we're in desperate need of rain. Start out dry this morning. You don't need the umbrella for your lunch break as we head even into the evening. This is 7 8 p.m. and the rain finally starts to get closer to the West Virginia Virginia border. Some heavier pockets in West Virginia, but as this crosses the mountains, I don't think we see a whole lot of heavy rain, but at least some signs of encouragement by 11 p.m. You see a decent shot of some light rain showers, unfortunately dissipating as we head into tomorrow morning. So this is a quick hitter by tomorrow afternoon. The wind picking up, the humidity very low. The wildfire risk is still going to be there, especially heading into tomorrow. Even by Sunday, even though the wind calms down, the humidity is going to be very low. So we'll continue to have that chance for brush fires. Hopefully getting more rain, though, as we head into Tuesday. There's our moisture source starting to dig into the Gulf. That's at least an encouraging sign as it has the potential to bring in a widespread soaking rain. As far as the cold air, that's mostly going to be to the north. So I don't see any kind of wintry mix out of this. Mostly a cold rain heading into Tuesday. Beyond that, we're windy and we're cold. So Wednesday is mostly dry outside of some west slope snow showers. Thanksgiving Day. 45 to 50. That's all we'll manage. Plenty of sunshine by Black Friday. We're in the 50s. This morning, probably don't need the ice scrapers. We don't have any frost out there, but yet again, temperatures in the low to mid 40s. We'll need the jacket. We'll have the heat on in the cars. We're heading into school or work. Mostly dry this afternoon. High temperatures mid to upper 60s. Clouds on the increase from morning to afternoon. Overnight, pretty mild rain for some. Higher rain totals are going to be toward the West Virginia, Virginia border, but even still, we're talking maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So we'll take it. But again, it's not going to cure the trout and it's not going to put out the fire on the Bedford Rockbridge County line in the New River Valley 60s today. We'll trade that for 50s throughout the weekend. Keep in mind tomorrow is going to be a windy one. We're cold into next week. There's your chance for soaking rain Tuesday highs in the 40s Wednesday and Thanksgiving lows in the 20s. For the Roanoke Valley, the alert day continues today and tomorrow. There you see the chance for some nighttime rain today. The weekend 62 to 63. Next week is colder with highs only about 50 to 55 degrees. There's your chance for rain heading into Tuesday, and uh, this is possibly the best chance we've had for a soaking rain in about one to two months. So we keep our fingers crossed on that. But as we get closer to the holiday weekend, Things trending drier for Thanksgiving Day and a high temperature of about 45 to 50 degrees.